Hi buddy, uh, hello and welcome once again uh, to my channel. Uh, for those that are joining us for the very first time, always feel free uh, to subscribe. Now, uh, today I'm going to basically show you a particular website that you can use to convert your various uh, blog posts. Uh, also, if you don't have blog posts, you can get this particular post from uh, other websites. So it's not a must that they should be yours, right? So this particular website is there to help you transform those particular blog posts into videos and these particular videos you can use them within your youtube channel to generate some kind of income now in my previous video i had mentioned about using or reusing other people's youtube videos actually to make some income so if you are keen i mentioned this particular website the website is called in video right so if you're not there you can click within the description i've shared the link so that you visit this particular uh, website is in, in video.io right so it allows you to actually uh, transform or convert the various blog posts right so let's see how we can actually use this particular website to achieve our objective now uh, the number of features that it provides right so once you're here all you need to do is to select this particular option the text text to video option you can see right you select it then now that we want to uh, create YouTube videos or generate YouTube videos from it I'll prefer that from the convert any text to engaging video select the dimension a uh, 169 yeah so this is the most preferred dimension for the YouTube uh, video so once you have selected the 69 uh, you'll allow it to maybe load the various uh, templates because there are a lot of templates that you can be able uh, to select from right so uh, once it has already uh, downloaded the templates or rather displayed the templates now you can always choose or select one of your favorites yeah now it depends with the kind of uh, YouTube videos that you are creating maybe it could be uh, music based videos it could be uh, business based videos so you have to select the right template so in my case now that I'm um, doing some demo just need to select a simple one so I'll just select the spotless so just click on that right then ensure that you confirm the dimension wide 16 and then you just click on a template option now the second step here is where now you want to bring on board the various blog posts that you want to convert into video. So in my case, I'll just uh, maybe head to my blog, uh, now that I have a blog, but you're not limited to maybe using your blog. If you don't have, you can always visit other people's blogs as long as they have the kind of posts that you want to use within your, your video. So not uh, it's not a must that you have your blog, right? So I'll just uh, maybe go and sample one of the blog posts that I can use within my blog right so uh, maybe i'm assuming that um uh, let's use uh, maybe e-commerce development yeah also try to maybe the blog post that you are looking um that you are using should be actually it should be they should be simple uh, step by step right don't have some kind of comp complicated posts right as you can see my blog uh, it has a lot of uh, graphics uh, but that won't determine so uh, i want to convert this particular i'll just click on this let me just click on the uh, the link so like this one yeah it's going to show it it is about 10 important website pages your e-commerce site should have right so i want to convert this particular blog post the way you see it into uh videos yeah so what i need to do is um I'll select the title first yeah uh, if you have some kind of uh, editor like I prefer using uh, the notepad so you can have it there paste it first and then I can uh, cut it then the just paste it uh, paste it here where we have the headline right so that's going to be the like the title of, of that particular uh, YouTube video so I'll go back again to the blog uh, to my blog or to the blog that um, you'll be getting the post from right uh, then I'll just go straight to the steps yeah so I'll just highlight uh, don't worry about the graphics that's why I use notepad so that at least it doesn't come with uh, the various images yeah 
so I go back to the notepad I'll paste that so this is a text this is a blog post text right uh, this is a blog post text that I want to convert into what a YouTube a video so I'll just uh, very first select them uh, then cut right then where we have add story I'll just paste I'll paste the entire I'll paste the entire blog post now as I mentioned it's a very weird way of actually uh, coming up with YouTube videos but again uh, YouTube allows us or you can always have this particular option uh, of using this particular software but I'll also introduce you to another uh, a particular a particular website it's called Quillbot right Quillbot just uh, paste the URL very fast so Quillbot is a free website that allows you to kind of uh, uh, paraphrase or rewrite the various texts so now that for example this one is my website uh, or my blog so I really don't need to paraphrase because uh, the copyright belongs to me but again if you happen to get information from other blog posts right you need to uh, actually paraphrase this particular uh, text so that uh, they don't appear the same within your video right so uh, the next step here ensure that you select the auto suggest images videos uh, then click next so it's going to tell you something like there's too much text now this is another warning uh, when you're coming up with the various uh, with the YouTube uh, from the blog post ensure that you reduce the number of texts yeah so that at least when you're creating those particular uh, videos you can accommodate the text so I'll select the rearrange text option here yeah so that it re rearranges the text for me uh, then I'll click on the next uh, button now before I click on the next button instead of copy pasting you can also use the URL yeah you can also come here and copy the URL right and then where we have option 2 you can just click here and paste the URL but I prefer uh, copying uh, the, the respective posts or text so I'll click next so it'll give it time uh, to maybe upload the various uh, text right ensure as it loads ensure that you can always use the quill bot yeah to paste uh, your text for example if I want to uh, sorry we had uh, copied that quill bot uh, URL like for example if we want to paraphrase everything here within my blog post and just copy it yeah so you can come here and try it and click para paraphrase once you have pasted yeah then you give it time uh, to rewrite for you the blog post or the text that you got from uh, other people's website right so it'll give it time you can see it's step two of seven so it has a lot of words as you can see it starts now refreshing or paraphrasing for that matter yeah? or rewriting for you uh, the contents that you have already captured from different uh, websites so that's how this particular tool so once it's done you just copy this part right uh, then now you paste it within the in video uh, the way we had done so here we are right this is the other step believe Right. so you can see on the left pane a window pane you can see the titles there and the various uh, content right and also if on the uh, on the right side you can see we have different scenes so what this particular in video uh, program has done it has divided the various section of the blog post yeah into what we refer to as scenes yeah if you can scroll you can see the different scenes there are up to 34 scenes right so uh, what it has done also as you can see it has converted the blog posts and assigned them some given images right now you can always edit these particular scenes like the first scene yeah you can see the background is a is a uh, is an image that uh, really doesn't correspond uh, to what the video is all about i'm talking about websites here yeah so what what i need to do i can edit just click on the edit part right uh you can edit you can edit uh, uh, you can click on that particular edit 
uh, part and edit that particular scene right once you're done with editing you just click on uh, save right so once you click on save it's going to take you back to the uh, initial uh, window so in my case here uh, before maybe we make changes to this particular uh, scene uh, I want to change this image yeah I want to change the image so I'll come here on the left side where we have images uh, then search for a relevant image uh, website uh, website images right then you hit on the enter key so that it displays for you the uh, relevant images so in the meantime I'll delete this one that is already there you can see I've removed it uh, then I'll select this I'll just drag this this one looks better just drag it so there you are you can see it I've already replaced that yeah uh, for the text uh, for the text also you can edit yeah so here you need to maybe go to the click on the edit option here so that you expand uh, the text area so that you can accommodate uh, the various text yeah so as you can see uh, it gives me the various placeholder for the text you just select then you can so it requires a lot of editing anyway uh, but the good thing is that it is in your work of uh, maybe starting uh, your videos from scratch yeah so you can always expand that uh, to your preferred width and height right so once you are done uh, you can always click on save as I'd mentioned right so uh, this particular procedure you can repeat it to the respective 34 scenes there are those ones that are not really uh, important yeah right you can see like this this one right there's this particular uh, text here yeah it's a bit um, sm too small so you can edit that just click on the edit you go back to the uh, edit window right so it's a back and forth a kind of exercise uh, but the good thing as i mentioned you don't need to start from scratch so just click on that particular text placeholder again you can uh, expand it you can even place it at the center at the center and so on so that is it uh, then you can save right so as you do the edits you can always preview or you can listen to the various uh, how this particular uh, scenes are going to look like as a video so you can just click on that second so scene so that's the first our uh, scene and th uh, the way it has converted into video you can come to the second scene you can make your the changes uh, the things that you feel you don't need yeah uh, you can always delete yeah, the parts that you don't feel like uh, you can go up again and change the image as i'd shown you right on the left side also if you don't like the music there's also an option here for music you can also replace the music right you can select a particular music that you you need right so there are a lot of things that you can always do uh with this particular with this particular in video software so once you're done I'm assuming that you've made all the changes right up to the last scene right and you can always delete like for example I don't need to maybe I don't need this part yeah then I don't need this particular scene 25 just click on delete uh, then select yes yeah right so you can see we have that three scenes uh, again so I'll save time now that you have gotten the concept so once you have done you can always preview all click on the preview all option right uh, let's just wait for it to compile the various scenes so it depends with the uh, number of scenes uh, sorry uh, it depends with the number of scenes yeah if you have a lot of scenes uh, chances are it's going to take time to uh, compile uh, but if you have few scenes it's just going to do it uh, very very uh, fast so uh, I think also my page has some issues but it's okay it's taking time so wait for so there we go
so basically that's the the uh, the preview of the entire uh, scene the 34 uh this a 34 scene the 33 scenes remember right so it has compiled into video right? all right perfect so it's going to play till the end right so once you are contented with the kind of um, uh, editing that you have done you can always click there and then the final stage the final step is now to download yeah so you can always download right your compiled video right so just click on the download you can click on the download uh, then also based on the size of the video it's going to take time to download now uh, remember we are using the free uh, version of this particular software but if you want now to get the quality of the video uh, without the watermark you are always uh, required to select uh, this particular uh, full hd and upgrade so if you have if you're a serious blogger or a youtuber and you want to use this particular uh, particular uh, platform uh, you'll always maybe uh, upgrade as you can see per month you can use uh, roughly uh, 1500 kenya shillings uh, per month or 15 uh, uh, us dollars per month yeah so if you compare maybe uh, with the kind of um, uh, maybe revenue that you're going to earn from your youtube video you can do the math anyway i'll select the free option 720 and then you click on the export right so there we go it's going to maybe uh, compile everything uh, then now you will be in a position to download your free uh, YouTube video or video that you can use within your YouTube channel, right? I don't know where you're going to use it. You can use it within the YouTube channel or within your Facebook, right? So you can go ahead yeah, and download your video as you can see. Yeah? So it is rendering. It's at 2%. So I, re I won't really <laughs> wait up to 100%. But once it has rendered up to the 100%, now you can also always use this particular option uh, to download uh, your project. So I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a very <laughs> informative uh, kind of uh, video. So if you like whatever content that I present, always feel free to share the channel and also don't fail to uh, subscribe. Alright, see you then.